Welcome to module three of the Green Event Host Training. This module is on marketing and attendee education, which is category two of the event checklist. Why is this an important category for this program? Category two focuses on designing your marketing tools in a way that shines a light on your equitability and sustainability efforts. This matters because your marketing sets the tone for your event. Marketing communicates to your guests about the sustainability commitments and expectations that you have. And marketing materials also in printing and creating them can use a lot of resources. So there are six action items in this category. 2.1. Promoting your event as a green event and highlighting your sustainability efforts in the marketing materials is a great way to showcase your organization's commitments and attract those who share similar values or interests. Action items 2.2 and 2.3 are focused on minimizing the use of paper flyers and other materials and leveraging paperless digital communications and marketing channels to get the word out about your event. Action items 2.4 and 2.5 are about helping to educate and inform your attendees. As part of your pre-event communications, share your sustainability goals and initiatives with those you are inviting, and then help them to participate in those sustainability goals and practices while providing education and signage at your event. And lastly, 2.6 is about providing a location at your event to return reusable supplies like name tags, pens, or other items. If you go to the toolkit for category two, you'll find resources including ways to reduce your paper consumption. One of these ways is to use a QR code to create materials so that you don't have to have a bunch of printed copies. There is a free QR code generator that's included in the resource toolkit. And 2.4, there's sample language and tips to help you communicate your sustainability efforts to everyone involved. For example, here it says, in an effort to reduce single-use plastic consumption at the event, we encourage everyone to bring your own bottle, utensil, mug, etc., to enjoy food and beverages. There are other resources in the toolkit, but these are just a couple of examples. And this concludes Module 3 of the training.